grab your popcorn, kick back and relax, because it's time for some more carnage. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys what might be possibly the coolest attack I've seen in a long time. Um, it's done by a guy named Jalex. This guy, he's pretty high in victory points, he's in like 12,000 something. Uh, but he did an attack on the world number 10 player, which has 16,072 victory points. Now, just for a moment, let this sink in. This guy's number 10, so he has a lot of ice on his base. Now, look at the boost he has. Now, you're probably saying, oh, he has no boost. That's because he tacked unboosted and managed to beat him. So, that's not much boost. So, let's see how he did it. And we'll pause. This guy has six ice statues, and the two masterpieces are boosted. That's pretty cool, right? So he has a shock blaster, but you might be wondering, well, where's his other prototype? Well, he had a shield generator, and it actually expired, and he wasn't online to put it back up, so... We, JLX managed to attack him in that sweet moment of opportunity to get him. So, uh, even with that, this is still an incredible feat. So, let's look at how he does it. So, he's barraging that machine gun. Uh, is he going to take out the mortar? I would have thought he would have took out the mortar. No, he didn't. Okay. That's, that's interesting. I guess he didn't have the GBE to be wasting on that. Which is understandable. I mean, he only has 40% GBE, so... Uh, critters, just to keep... Take out those mines, keep his guys alive a little longer. Far he, he must have known he needed to farm a bit of GBE before he went up there. Because he didn't have enough for shocks and stuff like that. Uh, knowing the cost... For the shocking would have been too much he takes out that rocket simply because he knows he can't afford the shocks for it so that was a cool strategy uh double smoke just to make sure that everything including his heavy stay under the smoke not just when he gets there but when he reflares the hq so right now the heavies move forward and that's when they would have moved out of that one smoke and timing it with one smoke is a lot harder, so that was smart gameplay on his part. Not too many one-shot buildings to take his heavies out, but he just manages to pull it off. And you've seen how close that was. Look at that, he had like... It only shows two Zookas, but I think it was a little more than that. Uh, let's see. Uh, it was three, actually. He had three Zookas left, so that was some absolute clutch gameplay from him. So, I thought you guys might enjoy that. I mean, that's that's an absolute thing of beauty, as I as you can probably see I wrote that in the chat. I mean, that's that's the most one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in Boom Beach. So, I thought you guys might enjoy it. Uh if you, if you did, let me know. I've got some more cool stuff like this coming, hopefully. So, uh, if you if you like this video, press the thumbs up button. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.